Well, welcome to Asian Picture. It is July 21st here in Korea. It's about 7.30 p.m. So good evening to you guys. Today we have a new Kia morning or Kia Picanto for our night drive. This is actually considered as a facelift of third generation. So we're going to show you interior, exterior and also go for a night drive. So before we begin, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Okay, let me just start showing the car from the front. Like I told you, this is facelift of third generation. So can you guys spot the changes? Well, first of all, this. It's got four points cross type ADD DRL and everything else is all verb type, but this is DRL. And um, now it's got new front grille. Um, this, this one actually, Tiger Nose grille, actually carries all the way up to the headlamp system. And um, let me just put a B-roll showing you the headlamp system working. That's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal, and fog lamp. Okay. Um, now it's got new bumper. Um, it's got the new, what do you call it, fog lamp with chrome accents around it. It has a radar sensor for the, you know, lane keep assist and uh, for collision avoidance system. New grill on the bottom. It also has uh, active air curtains right on the side. So guys, do let me know what you think about the front design in the comment section. And I personally think it looks a lot, uh, you know, solid and a bit aggressive uh, compared to the last generation. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Okay. All right. Let me also show you the engine room. Okay, our tester has a 1 liter MPI, multi-point injection gasoline engine, which produces about 76 horsepower and 70 pound-feet of torque. The engine is made to full-speed automatic and power sent through all front wheel. And, uh, you know, this I tested uh, 0 to 60 times um, during this morning, and guess how, it, how long it took? Six seconds? No. 16 seconds. Um, yes, it's not a fast car, but I don't think it's meant to be fast. Uh, for that, you need a Kia Stinger or Genesis G, G80 or stuff like that. And But uh, the hood is actually very narrow and very light. Okay. All right, let's move to the side. And let me also show you the car from the side. Um, like I told you, this is only a facelift. So, um, not much design changes, but they have added um, this chrome strip on the side and also this uh, high black glossy materials on the bottom molding as well. And um, a tester has uh, 195, uh, 45 by 16 inches on front and back. And uh, it's a really tiny um, tires, but actually this car actually handles very nice. It's got a torque factoring up front and um, so it actually handled a lot better than I thought. Um, it's got a small sunroof on the top and uh, let me also show you the car from the rear. Uh, it's got combination ADD uh, tail lamp. Um, this is actually um, from the Gangnam Driving Center. Um, our good friend Sammy actually borrowed this car for her review and she also let us borrow it. Um, it's one of those uh, hard cars that they don't have many cars for um, review. So um, thank you, Sammy. Um, I owe you dinner. Okay, so uh, right on. And uh, we also have uh, this camera just for the backup. This car only has a backup camera, no um, 360. And we also have uh, this fake exhaust on the bottom. Actual muffler is located on the right bottom side. Um, Birth type license plate. And this one is not actually functional. Okay, so um, turn signal and back up left. Let me also show you the trunk. Um, some of you mentioned that, you know, because we cannot see anything, uh, let's just skip the trunk. But let me just quickly, quickly show you. Um, we have uh, this can be placed on the top like this or on the bottom like this. And you know, space for some uh, spare tire, but for Korean specs, we only getting um, what do you call it? Um, 
fix a flat kit and also triangle warning triangle um, so if you're getting from um, North America I think they'll give you spare tire and of course you can fold the rear seats like this you know to yield more legroom not legroom I'm sorry yield more trunk space okay so it becomes you know almost flat so pretty nice place to be uh, trunk itself is not so big but we're able to you know jam all our equipment so it's pretty not bad okay and let me just show you the second row seats that was where I was sitting before so legroom is somewhat limited but actually headroom is somewhat better than I thought you know this my hair is brushing against it but it's actually better than what I thought it would be um, window comes down all the way like this uh, pretty nice but we don't have any you know heated seats for the second row passengers nor USB charging port or air vents down here but the the hump in the middle is not so bad but it seems a bit small for three people back here uh, there's no armrest uh, actually have a seat belt for everybody but uh, this place is a little bit crowded uh, hard plastics everywhere you touch but um, yeah so they give you uh, adjustable headrests even for the middle guy so that's pretty nice um, map pocket just for the right side um, so yeah they put this you know red stitchings I mean the yellow stitchings inside matching the color accents up front so uh, you know there's there isn't any uh, mood lamp or anything like that in this car so I think that's about it for the second row seats but like I told you uh, legroom is somewhat limited but headroom is better than I thought okay um, so let me just show you, wait a little bit and show you the uh, first row seats when it gets a little bit darker. Okay, guys? Okay, so uh, I think it's dark enough, so let me just show you the first row seats. We have analog gauges on each side with RPM gauge going the clockwise, so very nice. And we also have a 4.2 inch screen in the middle showing various information to the driver, tree computer, efficiency, average fuel. Um, you know for the um, driving assist uh, so it's very nice layout and to the right we have a new 8 inch infotainment screen uh, it used to be a 7 inch um, now it's 8 inch um, it uses a new uh, UI system which you can find on all new uh, Kia Sorento Kia Optima now you call it K5 in the even in the US market so it's very nice uh, this actually moves it's like overlay when you drive it's it's right here on the map it kind of moves so very nice uh, it's got very good um, layout uh, just like any other Kia models um, it's got the sound nature phones uh, Uvo uh, Android on Apple CarPlay let me just show it to you uh, while we are at it um, just plug it in it's a USB charging port right in the middle. So it says reading. So comes in full size, very nice. Uh, you know, I have my uh, Apple CarPlay in Korean, so it's probably that's why it comes in Korean. Phone, music, map, message, now playing, key I can go back, uh, podcast, audiobook, and it's very, very nice. Yeah, so. If you, uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't have Android phone, so that we also have a uh, Android and Apple CarPlay. Um, it's a very nice um, system. I also like that they give you uh, physical buttons and dials and big uh, air vents uh, right here and on the side as well. And you know they're also giving us a big physical buttons and dials and auto button right there. Um, and for the climate and media control, off, auto, uh, recirculates, rear, and um, there's also a small storage area right there. Uh, maybe a little bit short for your phone. Um, 12 volt charging, USB charging port. There's some space for your mobile phone, but there isn't any um, wireless charging 
pad right there. Um, there's also a very smart cup holder like that, which becomes like that. I think uh, that's very, very nice. Um, you also have gated um, gear selector. It goes first, second, third, fourth. Uh, let me just show it to you pretty soon while we we'll go out to drive it. And they also gave us, uh, you know, color accents around here and also around the air vent. Um, you know, hard plastics everywhere, but it's got very good, lovely looking um, steering wheel with color accents, you know, on the inner side. So I think they've used the money wisely. Um, and we also have a volume control, media control on the left side, and we have a cruise control and lane keep assist button right here. Okay, so uh, it's very nice system. It feels just like a, you know any other Kia car, and I really love this the leather. Um, so they, I think they used the money wisely. We also have two stage heated seats, two stage ventilation seats, and heated steering wheel, just for the driver's seat, and only heated seat for the passenger side and uh, emergency brake. And one thing that I noticed is very interesting when you pull up the emergency brake. Um, the uh, DRL actually goes away. You, you see that? <laughs> I didn't know that, but that's very interesting. And that's what uh, headlamp looks like. High beam, fog lamp, okay? Fog lamp, headlamp, high beam. So it's all burp type. So yes, it's a little bit uh, less bright compared to the uh, LED system. Um, there's some storage area right here small some storage area here as well and the glove box okay and he also managed to put this uh sort of a gradation pattern on the side and this uh, armrest right there where you place your elbow is actually wrapped around with leather okay so i think i told you everything about the car um if, if you see over there this chrome piece sort of uh even in the direct sun sort of uh gets on the window so I think that's you know maybe next time they think they should uh you know make it a little bit less visible okay so I think I told you everything about the car so why don't we go out to the road with new Kia Picanto okay guys let's go All right, guys, on the road with new Picanto, and this actually has a inline three liter gasoline engine. So um, it makes 76 horsepower and 70 pound feet of torque. But you know, it's working with full speed automatic, but in city driving, it feels very, very nice. And uh, let me just uh, let you hear it soon, but it actually sounds pretty. Uh, engaging too but it's not a fast car and uh, let me just show you third gear second gear and first gear and it also feels very smooth in first gear <laughs> very impressed um, driving wise uh, driving age wise we don't have adaptive cruise control just regular cruise control and uh, but we also have a lane keep assist so we're going to show you pretty soon but this actually has a for occlusion warning and also avoidance so um you know it's a small car but it's got lots of features inside and uh why don't we start with the uh, visibility um just like any other kia car um 
it's actually very easy to see out of the car. It's got big windows on round and uh, the back mirror side. I wish the side, mi side mirrors were a little bit larger and longer because it's actually uh, the hip is actually hiding my visibility. But uh, you know, even the this way, uh, it's not blocking my line of sight. So it's it's very very easy to be driving this car. And um, you know, let me also uh, let you hear the. Uh, the radio system. It's got. I don't know which maker it is, but it doesn't say on the speaker grill, but sounds rather nice. Uh, Kia says it's got six speakers, you know, sounds pretty okay. And um, okay, uh, I like the fact that the gauge cluster is made out of analog gauges and with 4.2 inch screen in the middle. And um, you know, this is what the three cylinder sounds like. And uh, compared to uh, all the CT cars, I think, you know, it became very um, easier to drive. It's a lot quieter and, you know, steering wheel feels a lot more stable even on high speed, cruising speed. So uh, I'm going to show you pretty soon how it feels on the freeway. Okay, so it's pretty good. Our tester has one liter MPI gasoline engine, which makes about 76 horsepower and 70 pound feet of torque and engine is made into full speed automatic i really wanted to let you hear it how it sounds there isn't any dry mode selector so let's just drive it full throttle so yes it's not fast and it only has full speed automatic but when you give it a go, it sort of pushes the car linearly all throughout the RPM range. And you know, for a CT, small CT car, I think uh, you know it's very nicely isolated, and even the steering wheel feels very stable. Um, I remember, um, you know, old mornings, and even the small CT car used to be very um, unstable on high-speed driving, but. This one actually feels very stable. Of course, it's, it's not punchy, right? But it's actually pulling the car very linearly. And this three-cylinder gasoline engine actually sounds very aggressive when you give it a full throttle. <laughs> it sounds quite engaging, right? But it's not going that fast <laughs> the problem is uh, we also have a four speed automatic uh, there isn't any paddle shifter or um, you know plus minus you just have to use the gate side uh, pull to the right to go to third one more second actually you know it's not a there isn't much to show you because it's actually full speed automatic, you know. Can only go third, second, and that's it. Third and fourth. Um, but it's actually uh, doing its job very nicely, uh, pulling the car very quietly, just doing its job. Um, I wish, uh, you know, Kia would make this Kia Picanto with a turbo. They used to have a one liter turbo, but not anymore here in Korea with this uh, new Kia Picanto. Um, you know, I think turbocharged, a little bit more power would be a little bit nicer, but this is actually <laughs> foot down. So it's not that fun to drive but I don't think you drive this car for fun um, you actually drive this car in the city you know comfortably for its compact size it's actually very very easy to be driving this car around town um, when you park you know we have a very small parking spot here in Korea but this one when you park it you have lots of rooms left on either side and uh, when you park 
right next to between like two large cars you know you cannot even see it uh, when you walk until you walk very near it uh, because it's like right in the middle okay so but uh yeah this car is actually very uh fuel efficient as well um you know i'm gonna have to i didn't have uh, time for a uh, fuel efficiency test but i'm gonna do it on the way back home okay so i'm gonna let you put it on the post um on the video how efficient it was okay And I was driving this car this morning and I was very surprised how well it handled. It's got a torque vector system up front and it really, really knew how to dance around the corner. So I was very surprised on that one as well. And um, we have a lane keep assist and uh, not adaptive, it's just regular cruise control. So even this is a small CT car, when you have the cruise control and lane keep assist, turned on it will actually drive for you but uh, after like 10 seconds um, it's gonna start warning you should put your hands back on the steering wheel and even before that you should always keep your hands on the steering wheel right and uh, when you have the adaptive not adaptive cruise control lane keep assist uh, it will actually manage the corners as well it's very curvy road right here but look how delicate this system is actually putting the car right on the center so it's a very very nice system um, which Kia put it on this um, small city car and I'm really really glad they did um, it's a very nice car so I mean when you do put your foot down, it's not a fast car, but I'm quite surprised, you know, how quiet this CT car is. You know, when you uh, kind of, you know, think about small cars, they're very loud, uh, you know, they're very unstable, but this one, uh, you know, this is actually facelift of the third generation and after nearly uh, third generation, Kia is solving all that problem. And, uh, you know, I am 6'2", and when I'm sitting on this driver's seat, it's okay. I mean, leg room is also very nice too, and headroom is also okay too. So, you know, if I don't sit at the second row seats, I'm, you know, I feel pretty okay. Um, so this would be a perfect car if you're going to be mainly driving this car and, you know, CT driving, and, you know, it's a very compact size, so it's very easy to park and easy to drive, and, uh, you know, small streets and um, you know it's rather handles very nicely and it's very efficient and uh, it also looks you know funky and fun so if you're looking for small um, you know first car I, I would recommend this car uh, very very much okay so do let me know if you have a you know question about this car and so forth okay? And you know, it's because its peak torque starts over 3,000 RPM. I cannot remember exactly, but I think it was like 3,750 RPM. So you sort of have to squeeze, you know, rev up the engine to squeeze good amount of power. But, you know, when you just gently push the car, it moves quite nicely because like I told you this is very small and light car. So when you smash it, it sort of goes, but there isn't so much big difference. And I see Genesis G90 just passing me. <laughs> That's a very luxury car. But see, this car actually pulls very linearly all throughout the RPM range. What about the brakes? Uh, brakes are very nice too. I mean, you know, it's got uh, disc brakes all around. It's very, very uh, effective system. Um, but uh, when you really press it hard, you know, the, the, it's got torsion beam suspension at the rear and, uh, you know, the rear is very, very light. So when you do give it a hard brake, it just, it just feels a little bit unstable at the rear, so. 
as something to you know, okay? So right now we're driving quite fast and one thing I really like is how quiet and nicely isolated this car is for a CT car. Okay, it also handles very nicely. Like I told you, I wish uh, Kia would add a you know, turbo to this model. Uh, and they stopped selling the car with uh, the manual shifter as well. And also, uh, I wish they also start selling this uh, new Kia Picanto with five speed manual. Okay. All right, guys, this has been our quick night drive with new Kia Picanto. So if you're looking for a small CT car uh, with compact size and good features, I think this new Kia Picanto is the right deal for you. So hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be back with more car reviews. So before you leave, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys. See you soon. Stay healthy and bye-bye.